Hiya, I'm Anna Puma. So in this video, we're gonna go through all the kit I take to a wedding. So I shoot with Fuji. Um, this is everything that I bring, pretty much. That's it, I like to keep it light and that's one of the reasons I shoot Fuji as well. Uh, so I've got two cameras, I always take two with me just in case. And also it means I don't need to keep changing lenses. I have the X-T3, which I absolutely love. It's small, it's light, it's got the little flippy screen, it's got a um, digital viewfinder in here so I can see exactly what I'm shooting. So it shows me my preset that I put on it. It shows depth of field, exposure, everything. So I don't have to worry about any of my settings or anything, I can see exactly what I'm shooting. Um, so on this one, I've got a 35 mil, which is equivalent to 50. It's a 1.4. I use it for most of the day. If I could only have one lens on my camera, it would be this one. It's so versatile. It works for absolutely everything. I love this lens. It's so small, it's light, it's brill. So I use that um, sometimes for portraits, for a lot of group photos, for candids, for details, uh, pretty much everything. I love that lens. I also love the, um, it's an 18mm pancake lens, it's an f2, and it's equivalent to a 27mm. Uh, it's super, super small, weighs absolutely nothing. The whole thing weighs almost nothing. It's so brilliant, it's such a perfect lens. And I love using this lens for candids, so I really like getting up close, um, so I can get a whole group of people in one shot. I get a lot of good documentary candids with this lens too, because it's not so wide that it gets super distorted at 27 but it's wide enough to get those sort of great documentary photos up close and personal and um, so I really really love that lens. I also really like my 56 which is equivalent to an 85. It's a bit bigger, um, I love it for sort of more romantic portraits, I really like it for candids and during speeches and ceremony photos where I can take pictures of the guests or if I'm a bit further away it works quite well to get sort of the head and shoulders of the couple as well so that's pretty good for that. And I think it gives me just the right amount of bokeh as well. Um, so I really like that lens for yeah portraits and sort of more uh, pulling people out of a crowd photos, <laughs> if that makes sense. I've also got a Samyang. This is a 12mm, so equivalent to a 16. Um, so I use this pretty much only for the dance floor. Super close, get loads of things and people in the frame. It distorts people. Um, so I like it for that, or if I'm in a really, really tight room and I need to get a whole room picture, I'll use it for that then. Um, so that can look quite cool, but that's pretty much the only thing I use it for. I've got my flashes here. These are Godox TT685. Um, I don't know what the most recent one is. These are a couple of years old now, but these do the job really well. They're pretty cheap um, and they're pretty good. They're very basic, which is what I like. Um, you pretty much turn it on and go. <laughs> Uh, it's got a few niggles, but there are only technical things that may only be happening to mine, so... But otherwise, for the cost, they're just perfect for weddings, because you kind of can throw them around um, and not worry about them too much. You can use them in the rain and not worry too much. Like, if they die, you can just get a new one. It's not like they're several, several hundred pounds or anything like that. Um, and yeah, these are just really, really good and easy to use. They talk to each other as well. So I can have one on the camera set to not fire, but it can trigger the other one. So I can use that one as an off-camera flash, maybe for backlit or something like that. Or I can use both, so I can have them both on. One can point upwards to light the front and one can be from behind to give a bit of sort of depth to the photo. So they work really, really well together. I've also got a million batteries. <laughs> I take eight with me to a wedding, although I probably only use about four. And I've got um, some Eneloop Pro batteries for my flash, so I take um, four in each flash and then four spare for each flash as well. And that's pretty much it. I keep my flashes in this bag here, which goes inside my backpack. So these just about fit in here. The bag is a Vinter bag from America. I absolutely love it. I've tried a lot of camera bags and this has been the favorite one so far. It's been the absolute best so far. I'll grab it for you. Here we are. So this is the bag, it's just a backpack but it opens on the back and it's got a nice padded back too. So no one can steal things from you from behind while you're walking around. It's a dedicated camera bag, so it comes with all the padded sections inside. I've got some uh, spare tablets and batteries in there, you can see. And everything fits in so neatly. 
In fact, my Fuji kit is almost too small for it. <laughs> That's also great about Fuji, but it all fits in really, really nicely with the flashes up the top all neatly. And there we go. Perfect. So I've got a little bit of room down here for spare batteries and things like that. There's a bit for a laptop or iPad in there. I've got a little front pocket here for batteries and cereal bars and things like that. So I also use this waist belt. So it is a um, think tank bag on front with spider holster holsters here. I think the belt itself is think tank as well. So the belt isn't the one that came with the spider holsters because the one that came with it was a little bit too, um, it sort of dug in and I like the paddedness of this think tank one. Um, but my cameras, it hooks on with these little hooks here you can see on the bottom. Hooks nicely onto the belt there. So here's my camera belt, what the guests at weddings all call the Batman belt. <laughs> Uh, it is really easy to wear, it's really comfy, it doesn't pinch, doesn't get in the way. The cameras sit really nice and flat against my hips, nothing bumps, nothing rubs, I can walk through crowds. Um, so I absolutely love this belt. I've got the bag on the front to keep my lenses and stuff in. I've got a battery pouch here that I keep my batteries in, it, gets, it, it holds two batteries. And I keep them face down when they're full and I put them face up with the contact showing when they're used so then I know when I'm on the fly I can know exactly which one to grab. I have got a lens wiper hanging off there. I've got a little SD card wallet here. I've got all my SD cards in there, they're all numbered, they're all dated so I know exactly how old they are and exactly which wedding or shoot is on which card which I then write down on a document to keep track of everything. I've got, very importantly, where is it? It's been so long since I used it. Here, some little earplugs and a little earplug pouch there for the dancing portion of the wedding. Um, so the best thing about this belt is that you can quickly grab your cameras off so you don't have to keep changing lenses. And it's got a little lock as well. So when you're walking down a street, no one can just grab your camera off you. So that's pretty handy. And also when you're sort of running or you know dodging things, it can't just fly right out. Um, people have asked me if I've ever dropped the camera, if I've missed it and dropped the camera. Yes, maybe once or twice in all the years, but it's really not that hard to put it in, give it a wiggle and you know it's there. It takes like half a second to do that, so that's not really a problem for me. So yeah, here's my jazzy bell. Hope you like it. It's like the best thing for a wedding ever. And that is all of my kit. I hope that was helpful for you.